everybody and welcome back to another episode here from my single player let's play how is everybody doing oh man we're back again here in our village transformation and we're gonna do another house today or another build well technically yeah we're still transforming it but i'm gonna do a build today that actually wasn't part of the plan originally this little house right here that you see in this little corner this used to be what i was gonna build as a library but i changed my mind i put the toolsmith in here the library is that. <laughs> I wanted to make this look a little bit cooler. Plus, I want to see if I can get a bunch of mending books. I still don't have any mending librarians in this area. And that's a new cat. I don't know where my fish went. Um, kitty, you better stay there. Uh, but we're going to be doing this awesome library. I got a cool layout. I kind of like the way this feels. Let me flip. Let me show you. So, this is what I'm thinking. We're going to put a really cool tower right here in the front. This will be the entrance. Kitty, I don't have any fish right now. Only fish I got is Ariel. Ariel, I'm sorry. Ariel, I'm sorry. Ariel, I'm sorry. Ariel, 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 yeah, she's back. It's fine. But um, <laughs> this is the cool outline that I got. Uh, so right here, it's going to be a little tower entrance. You're going to turn, right? And it's going to go right in here. And we're going to have a cool library. These are all the bookshelves stacked up on the side. We're going to make it look pretty cool. And then when you come over here, this will be where the uh, librarians would sleep. And I think for now, four is pretty cool. I just want to see if we can make it look nice. I don't want to have too many librarians. I really just want a mending. I want an efficiency, uh, maybe a silk touch of the fortune, all right? The, 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 the best quad uh, books in, in the business. But uh, I think uh, that'll be a cool little thing to set up. Uh, and I really got to, I think I got a little bit of an idea of what the palette is we're going to use. But check this place out. We have been doing some work, so let me show you everything we've done so far. If you guys are just new, catching up uh, to the series, we have this awesome little farmer villager house right here. We named the kitty cat patches. Thank you so much for all the beautiful and amazing names. This uh, be uh, beauty, I forgot who named this. Hold on. Oh hi, I'm sorry to bother you. I was looking for the name of the person who named patches. Uh, but uh, oh, I got it. It's Drake. Blevin Blaze. Oh my god, that's a beautiful name. You sound like a superhero rapper at the same time. You're awesome. Thank you so much for the beautiful and amazing suggestion patches. And everybody's on their way to uh, to the bell, to the town bell. Hold on. This is awesome. And yes, we got some uh, farmer villagers transported from these little pods. We, they have, they, You know what? Some of them are so happy that they're finally out and free. Some of them really need to get out of there. That thing is crazy in there. But uh, yeah, they're living here now. They, they've been working too. Look at this. Uh, and I added these little slabs here because either way, they usually destroy the, the farmland underneath. If it's like a little one block drop, boop, they drop in there and break it all the time. So I just put slabs here so it's easier for them to come up and down. And they've been, uh, you know, they've been doing their crop stuff. Uh, but yeah, we have some farmers. We also have our, um, I think everybody's in the center of town. Uh, the fishermen are doing great for our little fishing hut here on the side. Uh, and it's looking really, really awesome. There they are. Hi. Hi, how you guys like in the center of town? It hasn't been fully developed yet. It's on its way. I promise this spot is going to look very nice. But right now, uh, you guys can hang out. You guys have the loveliest hats. Look at the little straw hats. And you got the little bucket hats. So nice. The only... Th oh, uh, hello? Are you stuck here? Are you jobless? You're jobless. Another kitty! Oh, God, I need to get more fish. Listen, you jobless boy. Um, uh, I don't know how he escaped. But either way, I think, though, these guys over here are stuck. Uh, the ones in the church. Yep, they've been stuck there for the whole time. I kind of like the being stuck there, though. Not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> they've been stuck there the whole time because of this thing. Hold on. If I take it out, would you guys go to the center of town? Let's test this out. You want to go to the center of town with all your other friends? <laughs> oh, carpet, carpet. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Hold on. I'll break this one. I know they can't leave because of the carpets, too. Uh, you just gave up, right? Just go. Just go. Go with your friends. Go with your friends. It's okay. <laughs> I don't love oh, he you changed your mind. Oh, sorry. You heard me laughing. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. The priest doesn't like me to bother him. All right. So, for today's episode, uh, let me make it quickly daytime. Also, I want to show you guys I added two brand new supporter houses for you guys. Because the last episode, I didn't have any. Because I just really wanted just to build. Uh, build, build, build. This little farmer house here. Uh, so, I'll show you guys. I made two of them. So, I can get to show you the brand new, amazing, awesome... Um, Hold on, they're all going back home. I love seeing them come back home. There they go. <laughs> this is the coolest. Watch out with patches. Don't step on patches. Be careful, patches. You're in the way. There they go. You going to bed? All right, see you guys in the morning. <laughs> this is so cool. I love having villagers in this village. This is so awesome. Hey, you're kind of late. Get in there, man. They're going to sleep without you. Be careful with patches. Patches, you're in the way. Why is patches looking at me? Oh, uh, <laughs> This is awesome. But really quick, let me make it daytime. Let me go ahead and show you guys the brand new supporter houses and we'll get to do some building and we'll build that library right now. 
And here we are. There's the builds right there. Super cool. So we add a little path here right next to the horse stable. Kind of cuts in and then goes around the back. And I added two houses. This bad boy and that bad boy right there. But let me show you this one first. This one's so much fun to make. And it still resembles the same color palette and style of this area. This one looks a little bit more fantasy style just because we added uh, a lot of the uh, the overgrown on it. Uh, the big uh, giant chimney on it. It looks so cool. Let me take a little spin this direction too. You see the glass right there is nice little uh, I changed it. instead of doing like a little typical flower box add a little bit of a bush box right there it looks so cool uh, and then also this path connects all the way around and goes to the other builds around this area so we're still adding so many I love this look at that I came up with a different little a uh, little, little bit of a different style here by blocking off this area right here just with trap doors it almost looks like uh, it, it looks cool I don't know I kind of I just like the way that felt uh, since uh, usually we put windows all the way around cover that with a little trap door line lining there uh, with a little overhang matching what we did over here but in a different way I don't know this is pretty cool and this is home of Chris Nice what's up Chris this is the best Chris is awesome Chris is so cool oh and look at that one. yep I'll show you that awesome diagonal in a second but this one right here it looks so awesome it kind of resembles the ones we've been doing over here on the side but with its own little unique style with the pop-out logs also added some hanging lights there from uh, the fence post stay that looks so cool let me go on the inside let me show you the interior uh, it's super simple but it does the trick over here we have some little bit of a uh, kitchen area a little seating area um, this goes up with the ladder we have ourselves a little composter with a bookshelf some paintings and then on the top floor watch this chest composter with the bush over here and then we got this nice little divider here i like this upside down stair action that leads to a tiny bedroom but look at that we got all kinds of storage over here we got barrels chest uh, lanterns even more barrels on the top oh and i missed that, a thing I will fix later, <laughs> but it looks really cool. Hope you like that, Chris. This is awesome. I do love this house, man. The shapes, the shapes of this house. Look at that. Ah, stupid. Hi. Welcome. Uh, but right there, look at that. And then little pop-out area on the side here. Oh, so cool. But check this out. What's up, Bubble Girl? Bubbles here, everybody. Yes. Oh, man. You the best. Bubbles the best. Uh, but we have uh, the path over here leading up to this house and this house right here. Oh, and look at that. Also, a little bit of a brokenness on the top uh, with the bush. But that's super cool. But check out this diagonal. This was a perfect spot, but I was like thinking, you know what? We haven't done a diagonal in a while. Why not go ahead and diagonalize? Is that a word? It is now. Um, this build. Look at that. So it's pretty simple, but it, it's it's just a fully diagonal house. We got a little tower in the center. We got a chimney on the side. Oh, and I got to fix this. Hold on. I got to fix. This used to be a smaller, um, a little smaller spot. Hold on. Let me, I fix. Hold on. I fix. <laughs> I gotta get hurt, but I gotta, it's fine. Uh, the trap doors go right there. Cool. Because I, originally I had this as a smaller window lower to the ground, but I elevated it by one. And now that is perfection right there. Look at that. Now, let me go on the inside. Let me show you. Let me show Ariel. Ariel has a seat. Bubble seat. But Ariel has a seat. What's up, Bubble? Uh, but right there. And this is home of Kevin Fries. What's up, Kevin? Kevin's a long time supporter. I love your face, Kevin. Thank you so much, man. Uh, and you guys are awesome. So if you guys want to join, be a part of the, the supporter group, just click on the join button. It's the tier threes. The tier threes get the house in the village and it's, it's so awesome thank you all so much for the support you you know it means a lot you don't have to but you're beautiful when you do you're awesome you guys are the best and here's another house right here let me go on the inside let's show you kevin's house oh kevin look at this diagonal and we have to do a little wall divider here to separate the living area to the bedroom and it looks so cool the tower goes up here it's just a little light on the tippy top but Diagonals are so hard to furnish, but when you do, they look so cool. We got a little baby kitchen corner over here, some barrels, some stuff here, a little composter with the bush. We got a little library over here looking pretty awesome. I found an enchanted book. I threw it on there. Uh, and then we got some extra storage on the top over here, a little seating area for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you want to play some poker, cards, whatever you want to do, you know, play some uh, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Or so, I don't know, whatever you want to do, man. Get magic, the gathering, do whatever. But then we got a, a little bit of a wall divider over here in our bedroom. We with uh, your barrel and chest action, a little flower pot here, nice views back here from the side, views from the front, views from the corner, views everywhere. I love this big, tall uh, glass there, but yeah, this house is awesome. This one, this one took a while to, to, come, to come up with, but I think it came out pretty cool. Look at that diagonal. Oh, baby. 
No, oh, the egg nose is so hard, but once you nail it, you nail it. Looks so cool. Right, bubbles. That's my girl right there. Have some fish. She hates fish. Uh, but yeah, there you go. <laughs> the village is still expanding. We can still expand even more this direction. I still got a lot more of you guys to get to. So be on the lookout. I'm gonna go this direction coming up and break these off, and we're gonna have a bunch more houses off in this side because the waterfront property it is completely taken up over here on this side. Oh God, her it hurts so so good. Uh, but <laughs> thank you all so much again for all the support. Uh, you guys are amazing and. Uh, yeah, let's get to building inside of the uh, the transformation now. All right, let's get to building this library. So something I've been mentioning for these builds that are inside the walls here of our village, I wanted to make them more stone-like, more unique, different from the village outside of the, the walled-off area. This is a little bit more refined, a little bit more build-up. Uh, and you know what? I... I've been liking the stone look. Uh, we've been adding different kinds, like we have our regular traditional andesite, um, stone brick, cobble variant behind me with this small little chapel church thing. Uh, over there in the back, we have our farming uh, area, and that one is like a stone lining with some whites in the center. And then we have the one over there, which is our fishing one. Uh, that one has the brick lining on the bottom with the granite. Okay, now, I wanna continue with the stone feel, and don't hate me, but I've been really liking the whites okay the combination of white concrete uh diorite yes it, trust me it, it's a dirty white stone it works in conjunction with other whites trust me by itself <laughs> horrible in, in combination with other whites is really good but i want to bring back the whites primarily whites for this library then for the top i'm thinking maybe like a brick shingle like look something like that maybe so make it pretty much all stone hardly any wood on this one at all so i want to change it up but uh the whites that i got are these this is a good combination adding a uh, little bit of the diorite right, right keep it low keep it low the more broken up uh, we're not gonna put a lot of it just a little bit it's okay trust me i'm changing your mind it works well with other white, trust me. I used to hate it, but it's not bad. So mixing it in a little bit with the concrete, mixing it in a little bit with the bone block, right? Mixing it in a little bit also with the smooth quartz. So in combination like this, it can work out. Not, not this exact gradient, but these whites really would blend in. If we do a little bit of a gradient, start out with the darker tones, light, uh, going up to the lighter tones on the top, I think it'll work out. So I think I'm gonna be doing that right over here. Now, watch, this is the outline that I got. Also, I wanna bring a little bit of stones too. Just a little bit of the stones, the, the washed out ones, like uh, the end site. Little bit of the stone, uh, but some cobble on the bottom base just to make it look uh, like the white used to be looking like the andesite, the stones, and it just was washed in or like painted over and it got, you know, started to crack. So I wanna put the, the these stones a little bit at the bottom, not too much, just maybe a couple layers, and then go up towards the, the whites. All right, and here we go. This is what I got in mind right here. I got all of this lined up for windows already. So we got a double window here, a double window there. Here, uh, the way we have, uh, well, the bookshelves lined up on the side here, I think it's perfect to have a window or a big triple window in the center. And a couple single small ones here on the side, I think will be just fine. Out here, we could play around, maybe do something cool, maybe with some uh, greenage, some foliage, something. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, over here, big windows, three window, a triple window over here, uh, triple inches over here. I'm gonna do the little archway I love to do uh, and I think it's looking all right we got the andesite we got the uh, the cobble and a little bit of the stone and I think in the back here uh, we're gonna have a four bed set up so a one two three four and then windows in between each bed window on this side window on this side just to get a little bit more natural light here and then a couple double windows here on the side in between each bookshelf I think this is set up pretty cool uh, I'll do the flooring after now it's time uh, to lift and I'm gonna be lifting these up again uh, I might uh, trickle in a little bit more stone up and put down a little bit more of the the white so uh this will take a while but let me go ahead and lift these up i'm just gonna bring in some of the little bit of dirt right over here don't even worry about it. it's gonna be just fine uh you know don't panic okay all right check it out this is what i got so far i like the bottom i like the texturing but for some reason i don't know it just I, it's I, I, I don't know it's just too bright i think i really wanted to give it a shot but i think i might be switching this for some sandstone and some sand a little bit of smooth sandstone give you a little bit of a yellow tint keeping it light but not this bright i think if we do this it's gonna stand out way too much in this whole area it might be a little bit too much <laughs> maybe in a bigger cityscape you know uh with a bunch more uh like this i think it'll be all right but i don't know in here with all this stone 
It looks good. I like the bottom. It, it's a cool concept, but I don't know. I don't think I'm I'm into it. I also actually got rid of the regular concrete because the, the contrast way too much. I did leave some of the powder, but what do you guys think of this color palette though? Would this be okay? But you know, I'm gonna change it up. Let me see what sandstone will look like. Still keeping the bottom uh, like this. Get rid of the diorites though. Uh, but keeping the stone bottoms here uh, and then add sandstone to the top. Let's give this one another shot. All right, I like this a lot better. It's a good compromise. We're still keeping that stone, but we're keeping it light. So we're bringing in that sandstone, that yellowish tint here. We got the sandstone towards the bottom. We have the smooth sandstone towards the top. A little bit of regular sand just to break up that texture a little bit right there. Mixed in with the stones on the bottom. I like it. Oh, we kept one of you. Get out of here, you stupid. You know, I don't, you're not going to stay here. Uh, let's put that there. Okay, perfect. Uh, but <laughs> that is looking pretty cool all the way around. Looking awesome like this. And I'm coming up with this idea. So I'm thinking about, okay, in the back. Oh, hi. I'm ready for you. I've been waiting. I've been waiting, kitty. I've been waiting, kitty cat. Another little white cute kitty cat. Come on. Come on. Oh, you just turn. Turn your face. Oh, if I didn't want to jump. I didn't mean to jump. Okay, shh. Hi. Oh, hi. Come, 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 come. Oh, you're my friend. Somebody named this cat. Look at the two little color eyes. It look like pastel. You look like an Easter bunny. I'm going to call you rabbit. No, no, let me know. Well, that's the backup name in case you guys come up with a better one. But I like this here. Uh, check that out. So all the way around. Oh, and I do have to change these for stairs on the bottom, but that's fine. It's looking pretty cool. Oh, and I messed up here. It's okay. I'm so excited. I want to keep building. So this is what I'm thinking about roof. Okay. This is what I'm thinking about roof. It's going to come out nice. You watch. So let's go up here really fast. I'm going to show you what I got in mind. I'm thinking about four blocks of dark oak on the inside with an outer border of the uh of these uh, lovely stairs here the the spruce stairs watch this we're coming down like this right coming up like this upside down like this going all the way up till we get to the center point right here okay and then let me see i do have slabs right yes i do come over here slab and then a slab boom right here watch this spruce and uh, and sandstone is a beautiful combination trust me it just complements each other with the color uh, color palette did i mess that up did I, I know, I think I got it. So this goes all the way up and then goes like that, right? Then, next up, uh, let's break that little bit. We're going to go with up uh, regular stairs, going all the way down like this. Then this is going to turn over here. Then this is going to go this way and come back up. And then we're going to do the same pattern going up like this right here like so then this joins up right in the middle right here and we oh i messed up and then this continues with the slab in the center which goes right over here perfect and then we're going to do this let's bring in the dark oak and we're going to take this all the way down but guess what we're going to strip it that's right and then this comes back this way right this comes back like this this comes oh i fell but it's fine everything's going to be okay oh no let's go oh, oh you know what what if we just do this that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to come back up. And then this is going to get stripped. But we're going to take these all the way down. Hopefully I don't fall. Take it all the way down. That goes here. This connects all the way up this way. And then this one. We're going to take this one all the way to the top. Usually what I would do here. I would put a, a continuous slab going back down this way. But we're going to change it up. And also we're going to change these tips over here on the edges. This is going to change. That's going to change. That's going to change. And we're going to make these into these boys right here. Uh, and then we're not going to be able to see that little cutaway right there right and then we're gonna come back strip all these right look at this look let me show you let me show you and we'll do this off game again so this is gonna go oh hello i miss you up real bad uh so we're gonna go back down like this let me show you a little a little front facade of this how it's gonna look so this is gonna go down like this this is gonna go down this way right here we're gonna meet right in the center and then back oh hello i messed up two time that's fine it's gonna go all the way back and I messed up again. That's okay. Everything's cool. So that's going to connect this way. And then this is going to go over to the top bit, right? Like so. Then all of these are going to get stripped. Oh, I messed up in the corner bits, right? Didn't I? Yes. We're going to change these corner bits too. So where are you? Is that you? Yes, the wood. So bomb, bomb. Oh, I, me oh, I messed up. It's okay. I'm excited. I just want to build. All right, let's go all the way up like so. I like that. And then strip all of these going down like this. And oh, isn't that just beautiful? I'm going to be quiet so you can listen to these ASMR of the strippings.
Doesn't that feel good? Now, look at that. There we go. And then what I want to do is once we're up here, I want to give a little bit of this bad boy and let me make some more of these. Watch this. Then every once in a while, I'll come in here and break some of these off, right? Uh, let's replace that, put that here and do something like this. Little patchworks, right? Little patchworks of the, uh, of the spruce coming back this way. Something like that, right? There we go, little patchworks. And then also maybe even some of these bad boys. Watch this. Maybe some of this stripped. Oh, no. There we go. Something like that. There we go. Maybe one more up here. And maybe one more here. Maybe a couple more up on the tippy top. Right there. Now let's jump down. Let me show you what I mean. Here we go. Did I do it? Did I nail it? Oh, yes, there we go. I got to put a little bit more right up there, but look at that combination. That is going to look good. Now, let me go ahead and do this all the way around and see what it looks like. You like it? I bet you do. All right, check it out. This is looking so cool. I love this roof, though. Look at that. You see full blocks in the inside part? Yes, they could spawn a bunch of moths, but you know what? I don't care. It looks so cool. Uh, <laughs> we're going to have to find a way to... Uh, to make it a little bit more spawn proof. Maybe uh, adding some string or something. Maybe some bushes up there. I don't even know. But either way, it's looking so cool. I love this thing right here. Look at that. Uh, I also want to add the little pop-out log here in the top here. Just hanging down. Maybe a little bit of a book uh, uh, inside a uh, an item frame or something like that. Really, really cool. Uh, but look at that. I'm going to add a tower in the center. Just to break it up a little bit. And also, I'm going to make it out of stones like this. So I'm going to work out a little tower castle bit like this. But out of stone brick. I think it would be pretty cool. Make it really nice and broken up. Over here, a little overhang with the campfire blocks and the trap doors. Big, wind, uh, big door right here. I'm going to add that in a second. And also the flooring. It's going to look pretty cool. Also got to lift this part up here with the sandstone just to break that up. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to have like a high ceiling. It's going to be pretty cool. Over here is going to be the uh, the sleeping area for the librarian. So it's going to look awesome. Uh, I got to tweak that little corner bit. Uh, we'll, we'll do it after. But let me work on this tower bit over here and make it look pretty cool. And yeah. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do some interior and make it look really cool for the librarians to move in. Oh, I fell! I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Nobody saw that. It is officially the very next day. I've been hard at work. The interior is done. The building is looking really, really cool. We just need to work on the outside area, but I think you guys are going to like this. Check this out. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Flip. Bam. Look at this place. Oh, I added some of the bushes on the tippy top. And look at that. You see that right there? Added a little bit of dirt in there. Coarse dirt. So it can blend a little bit better with the woods. And I have some uh, some grass up there. Oh, and it looks so cool. It looks, it looks a little bit more run down. Our kitty cat is ready to go inside. Uh, I got to get rid of these these rails. That's fine. Uh, but look at it. The interior is ready. Oh, it's looking cool. We added a little pop-out log. Oh, I got to put a button on the end of that. Oh, it's, it's okay. Uh, but we got a book there. All sides here. Oh, that looks so cool. So you definitely know that's a library. Uh, on the outside, I have these cool little uh, polished granites with the bu What button is that? A spruce button. A little bit of spruce bush on top so you can sit down, relax outside with some nice foliage on the outside. Over here, I did the same thing. Oh, look at the interior. I'll show you that in a second. Over here, I did the same thing, but with some flower boxes. A little seat here on this side. And as you come into the back, a bigger flower box. So it's always something different. Look at the interior. We got some librarians in there, baby. Look at that. Do some work. The worst traits, though. I'm not going to re-roll them now. I'll do that later. But there it is. You can see it from the back also. Uh, a little bit of a nature spot here wrapped around the corner. Uh, and there it is. Got some trap doors up there with some grass. Oh, this looks so good. And I love our boy Germ's Better Leaf add-on. Little texture pack here. Get a little bit more fluffy bush. And some of the bushes have flowers in it. Look how cool that is. The tower is done. Very cool. It's very simple uh, compared to the one right next to it right there. But out of the stones right there. A little bit of andesite. And it's looking so good. But let me go on the inside. Let me show you what is in here. So, boom. As you come Come on in, hanging out here. You're not supposed to be here. You're reading a book? Cleric, you're reading a book? Uh, I think I got to get rid of these trapdoors. They get stuck on those, but they're hanging out over here. Uh, and I got a little bit of a wall divider over here. You guys want to go outside? Okay. Uh, but <laughs> I got a little wall divider over here, a ladder. And they can't get into that because I have a... Uh, a one block space so they can't jump so just for me this is my little personal area just to read a book and hang out right here this is my little library spot right there uh and then when you get up to the tippity tippity top nothing much just a little bit of a hangout spot uh a little spot to sit down here relax read a book and just chill out here uh while you look at the the view of um it's gonna be nice later on but for right now it's whatever uh but as you come over here coming around the side this is the library area and i really love this spot here up there i got a little bit of hidden glowstone so you got a little bit of a glow 
right uh, right there. But we got some oak trap doors, some slabs there of spruce, and then this cool little setup right there. Look at that. Just some looms sideways to show empty bookshelves, the actual bookshelf with some lecterns right around here. You can't go outside, that's what, oh, you, what are you hiding in here? You hiding from this guy? What did he do to you? He's treating you bad? Uh, but over here we got some seats with some oak stairs around the sides. You can sit down and relax. And then the bookshelves all around here looking pretty cool. On the back here, the little sleeping area for them. Just a bunch of beds on the side and extra storage over here. And it had the same kind of effect here on that, that ceiling right there, which is really, really awesome. But that's it. <laughs> that's all there is to it. What do you guys think? Oh man, I gotta re-roll these guys for right now. All they got is loyalty. This guy has knockback and this guy's stuck. Get out, cleric, get out. Get out of here! It's a library! I think I gotta get rid of these cool... It looks like a really nice door, but they get stuck on it. But I'll figure it out. You, you're treating the kitty nice? We need a name for this cat. But that's it. As the sun is going down, all the villagers are going to bed. Except for this guy. What are you saying at? Uh, but I'm out of here for now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what other villager professor would you like to see next. So many ready to go. I'm inspired right now. This place is growing. It's looking so good. But uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying our single player series. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Goodbye. Don't push me, security.